Are you trying to build a high performing sales team? Whether you're a new sales leader or just trying to motivate your sales team, this video is something you'll want to watch and make sure you watch to the end because there's a little bit of a tip I share at the end that you won't want to miss. Hi, I'm Sean Casemore and I help you learn how to be a high performing sales professional so that you can earn more in less time. If that sounds good to you, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. You'll be notified each and every time I release a new video, which is pretty much every week. Okay, if you're a sales leader or you're leading a sales team, my guess is you found that the high performing sales individuals on the team tend to be a little bit of an individual. That is, they don't necessarily work well with the team. And sometimes those that work well with the team aren't the strongest salespeople. That's the way it is in sales. You've got high performers that are out there and very driven. Then you've got the rest of the team. The goal obviously is to bring the team together and help the team themselves be able to sell more collectively. So here are four things you'll want to consider in building a high performing sales team. Number one, I noticed a little bit of an acronym here. Number one is targets. Now, nothing new in sales. You have to have targets, but here's the key. Make sure those targets are personalized for each individual. So you set basic targets you want to achieve, but you have to look at each person's success. So the rate at which I close deals may be different than yours. The number of people I need to connect with in order to achieve that closing ratio may be different than yours. So you want to do what is I call the sales math and work backwards from what is my personal target that I need to achieve and then really personalize the journey there. So based on my average closing ratio and the number of people I need to talk to to issue proposals, what is the sales math as far as the number of people I need to connect with in order to hit my target? So the targets themselves you set for everybody, but how each person gets there is very individual and you need to make sure you clarify that. All right, the second thing you'll want to consider in building a high performing sales team is to encourage team selling. You know, years ago when I used to sell cars, if I couldn't close somebody, I would go in to see the sales manager. Now, I'd stand in front of the sales manager. He had a glass window in his office so that my prospect could see them. And we wouldn't actually talk about the deal. I'd stand and say to the manager, look, I can't close her. I don't know what's going on. And he would just nod and shake his head. He said, well, try this, try that. Meanwhile, she thought we we're actually discussing the deal, right? Or he thought we we're actually discussing the deal. We weren't. The sales manager was helping me strategize around how to close the prospect. That is what I refer to today as team selling. Now, you may bring your boss in once in a while, but the same strategy works when you put individuals together in the sales team. If somebody is having a difficult time closing or they're going to see a new large company, send two people in because they can work with one another in order to close the deal, right? Two people are always better than one. Now, of course, you've got to look at how you invest the time of your sales team. I recognize that. But if it's a really important prospect or a really big company that you're not used to selling to, you want to make sure you put some people together on that account because you're going to have a lot greater chances of success and that success will happen a lot faster. So consider and encourage team selling for large accounts or big prospects. Hey, if you're liking these strategies, make sure you click the like button on this video. Also subscribe to the channel. You'll be notified each and every time I release a new video and comment below if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to discuss. Okay, every sales team that I know that is high performing has losses. You really need to accept those losses as a team discuss them, dissect them a bit, and really in some cases even celebrate them. Why? Because we learn from making mistakes, right? If you don't lose some deals along the way, you won't really learn anything. We learn because we realize that, oh, this scenario doesn't work with this kind of buyer, or I'm rushing through the sale because I'm getting lazy and closing too much, right? There's all sorts of lessons that can be learned when we sell. The key is we have to accept those losses and learn from them. So as a sales leader, don't beat people up for making losses. Ask them, what can we learn from this? How can we change our approach next time so this doesn't happen? All right, the last one here you'll see is mentorships. Now, I'm a fan, obviously, of sales coaching. I think it's great to help individuals perform at higher levels, but part of coaching, coaching is very proactive. Mentorship is a little more reactive. We wanna make sure that the more senior or more successful people on our team are seen as mentors to those who are newer or not as successful. What does that mean? Well, it means that the newer or less successful people know that they can contact and discuss with the more senior, more successful salespeople about the challenges they're facing. Put your high performers into a mentorship role. 
And then you want to really make it official. Tell everybody, right? Sean is going to be a mentor to those of you who are new to the organization. He's going to make himself available for any questions you have, even if you want to bring him into a meeting, right? It's going back to the encouraged team selling point I made earlier. So make sure you set up mentorship relationships. We don't want the sales team always relying on us, the leader or the manager. We want them relying on each other. That's what builds a strong team. If you'd like more tips and strategies on how to build a high-performing sales team or just how to sell more, make sure you click the link below. You'll be joining my Thursday Thrive community and every Thursday I release some sales strategies that are working right now for my clients that you can in turn apply. There's a little exercise each and every Thursday, so give it a try. Click the link below. There's no obligation. I'm not gonna try and sell you anything. And here's the key. If you click it, you read it next Thursday or the Thursday coming and you don't like it, you can always unsubscribe subscribe at any time. Hey, if your team is trying to sell to larger companies, make sure you click this video next. You'll learn all about how to not only find but close large accounts, which is critical for all sales teams to really build their motivation and momentum. All right, take these strategies, build yourself a high-performing sales team. If you want more ideas, you can always visit my website, www.shawncasemore.com. And until next time, get on out there. Let's go sell something, shall we? We'll talk to you soon. Take care.